What's up guys? Welcome, one and all, back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today we're looking at the 71st best player in the NFL for the year of 2022, as voted by his peers. He's always there or thereabouts. He's, he's, his name's Jason Kelsey. Uh, he's a centre for the Eagles. How good would it be to have two brothers, different positions, same side of the field, balling out just as good as each other? Travis Kelsey is his younger brother, I'm led to believe, and he will be on the list um, within the, f I'm going to say the top 20. Jason, elder brother, you know, he's probably he's probably taught him a few lessons over the years, be that on the field or off the field. Either way, uh, the big man, big Jace, Jason Kelsey, comes in at number 71 on the list, and uh, let's get into it. Now what I was saying before is, I don't know what, the hell's going on in this video? I don't know if it's Snapchat, Instagram Live, or a TikTok. But I'm actually going to say it looks like a beer keg. What do you do if your coach sends you a keg to entice you not to retire? Well, you have a drink. If your Eagle center Jason Kelsey, you tap it, take a swig, and give Philly fans the answer they were hoping for. <sighs> <laughs> so he's been sent a keg as a gift, as a um, as a bribe, and uh, it seems it worked. But I'm definitely not retiring from playing for the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm having way too much fun doing that. We're happy you're back. Was... So am I. What was he considering retirement? Man, you know what? I should have said. I should have said he was 92. That came to mind. That would have been a real a real brownie point with you guys. But, oh well. It is what it is. Let's have a look at some stats. I've got this up on screen now. So, Jason Kelsey. He's a veteran. November 5th, 1987. He's cut his hair, unfortunately. Um, age 34. 6 foot 3. 295 odd pounds. Let's say 300. 300 after a good meal. Probably 310 at the end of the night. Uh, got picked up in the 6th round with pick number 191 in the 2011 draft. Went to Cincinnati College. He's been at the Eagles ever since he came into the league. He's a Super Bowl champion. He's a 4-time first team All-Pro participant. A 5-time Pro Bowler including last year, and, uh, well, the list goes on and on. He moves, he moves for a big fella, uh, 4.89, clocked at the 40-yard dash, a vertical of 30 and a half inches, and a broad jump of 9 foot 2. Now, really, all I... Okay, this... Okay, this is underwhelming. I feel like I've been here before. I have been here before. Let's just have a wee read of what happened last year. On the verge of retirement... Apparently, on March 5th, prior 2021, prior to the last season, he signed a new deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, uh, went in for the team's first offensive snap, then was benched for the rest of the game. Oh, to to keep his consecutive start streak alive. I do remember something about that. So he was placed on COVID list on January 3rd and activated four days later. Uh, allowing him to keep his consecutive start streak alive. So they put a guy that was positive with COVID on the field. Well, it was worth it. He went on for the team's first offensive snap, then was benched for the rest of the game. In 2021, he was selected to his fifth Pro Bowl, marking his third straight selection, and was the Eagles finalist for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. He was also named a first-team All-Pro by the Associated Press for the fourth time in his career. On March 11th this year, just a short three months ago, actually make it five months, after mulling retirement before the 2022 off-season, he signed a new one-year deal with the Eagles with $14 million, which made him the highest-paid center in the NFL. All right then, mate. Welcome back. Go Birds. Back in the list, are you... Uh... What, what does it That's mean? good to know. To me, I think this, this late in his career, I think he's more of one of those crafty veterans. V to V. Chuck him in at running back, mate. Guys. While a lot has changed for Jason Kelsey over his 11-year career, one thing remains a constant. The ears. When the game kicks off, Kelsey will be in the starting line. Hey, mate. 
How was the ride? Should be. Oh, there's a few, but they stay out on the street. Nick Minute. All right, all right, all right. Well, that was a, a nice wee visit from the old man. A couple of hours of the best. Uh, caught up on some things and uh, dropped him at the pub. We're back. We're back to continue with Jason Kelsey, number 71 on the list. Let's go. Thing remains a constant. When the game kicks off, Kelsey will be in the starting lineup. 122 consecutive games started. That's Treacle. That's like seven and a half years. That's like seven and a half years. About consistency. He's always out there. He's playing all the time. As a center, you know, obviously he's the head of the O-line, making the calls, getting everyone on the right page. You got a lot on your plate, but I think he does a good job. Kelsey was the centerpiece of an Eagles offensive line that paved the way for the league's top oh! attack. Tell you what, he's definitely got some pace. Part of the reason that Philadelphia can do so many good things in the run game is because of Jason Kelsey in the middle. He is a great center, and not only physical at the point of attack, but his ability to get to the second level and to block safeties, to block linebackers. Oh my gosh! Line them up! And he'll knock them down. Or block them down. That was three guys in the exact. He is three guys in the same center, play. And not only Let's have a look at this. Of attack, but his ability to get to the second level and to block. Out of my way, mate. To block you and you. Smart guy. Well, I'll call it two and a half. Guy knows what to do and how to get there, and, and he's efficient at what he does. Kelsey, he's as good a center as the NFL's had in the last decade. Oh, that is that is who you want to be running behind. Seriously, that you know the way that he rounds the the turn and just looks for that blocker. It's like right, mate. You're mine, and you ain't going to touch the running back if it's the last thing I do. Jason Kelsey, just an outstanding job of creating space. He's one of the fastest offensive linemen, centers, it doesn't matter. Like, he's one of the fastest there are out there. Definitely. His get off. I mean, you got to make sure you're really beat <laughs> oh, to the bro! What? You got to make sure you got your cleats tied up right. He won the most athletic. Oh, get behind him, get behind him. You, you know, know that you you know the man to run behind, don't you? Know you? Sprint, oh, <laughs> you oh! I tell you what, Kelsey actually wanted Kelsey. Kelsey was disappointed with that. That's the line, man, I ain't gonna lie. Even when we doing sprints, I ain't gonna lie. He wanted his running back to cut cut back on the inside, cut back on the left. Probably would have still got tackled, but you know, Kelsey wanted some more yards. Oh, oh. <laughs> outrunning some of us. So <laughs> you're not usually seeing offensive linemen outrunning defensive linemen. Kelsey, outstanding job of continuing to work up the field. Not saying he can beat me in a race, but he might beat me in a race, though. You get Jason Kelsey out in front of you, boy, good things are going to happen for you. Absolutely, Kelsey. that's the thing. You get him out in front, good things are going to happen. <laughs> He's been playing at a high level for a long time. I didn't think it was so crazy that he's so athletic. You know, I'm like, oh, my goodness. He might well come out there and play a little bit of DB. <laughs> you know, so uh, he's a GOAT, man. I call him the GOAT. Hey, dog, man. Put the ball out there, man. Hey, put the ball out there, man. Oh, look at the brothers. There we are. Jeez, they're looking happy, aren't they? <laughs> um, what's up, bud? What's up, bro? Obviously, this is a list compiled of all of your peers. So to be on that list is definitely a testament, you know, to the guys that you're actually playing against. Looking forward to another year, Philadelphia. Take another drink, mate. And all my teammates. Let's go dominate. You know, if you can... Go Birds. All right, guys. That was uh, a pretty lengthy video for me, at least. Um, it's taken about three hours to complete. And blame that on the old man who just rolls over whenever and wherever he wants to. Um, but that's what makes him him. And um, honestly, I've had a really, really enjoyable afternoon thus far. And we're going to continue where we left off. In the next one... Tyron Matthew, number 70 on the list. That's surprising. The Honey Badger. Playing for the Saints. Doesn't seem right, but it is what it is. We're going to find out everything we need to know about Matthew, about what he's done during the 2021 season. I'm excited. You guys should be too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very shortly. Peace out.